But the quarterbacks and the receivers, we've just been working every day all summer, and um, it's coming out to show in, um, in practice, and we've just been competing every day. You yourself, compare yourself now to where you were this time last year in fall camp. Uh, I'm definitely... Um, I'm definitely like two times in front of my game as in last year. Why? Definitely weight wise, I'm, I'm definitely bigger than I was last year, and um, I feel comfortable in myself. How, how, much, how big of a difference does it make being in Troy Taylor's system for the second year rather than you know learning it last year? Uh, I look at it as like you know a little kid swimming his first year. He swims, it's all right. He got to catch a lot of breaths. The next time he come out the next year, he's swimming way better, just running laps across the field. So uh, I feel like that's what, that's what I'm doing. You doing Olympic sized pools right now? <laughs> yeah, the Olympic sized pools. <laughs> How hard was it to put on all that extra weight? How much work did you have to do? To uh, it's out? definitely a lot of work, and um, you just gotta you just gotta have the positive mindset because any bad days you might just feel down that you you know what I'm saying that it's not going your way but you just gotta see through that and um, just keep working. Is there a fun part of it putting on the weight? You get to eat more, uh, right? You just get to eat more. I, I guess that's the fun part right there. What did you mainly eat to put on that weight? Uh, I don't know. A lot of rice. A lot of a lot of a lot of. It's just a lot of stuff they throw at me. So drinking shakes after workouts, drinking shakes after runs is is crazy. How much weight did you put on between the end of last year to now? Uh, I, I put on at least 10 to 12 pounds. How do you avo make that not avoid you or not affect your quickness and your speed? Uh, I've been I've been working with this weight all over the off season, so I feel like it did nothing different. How about the weapons you get to work with? Not a lot of experience coming back, but it seems like you're developing some chemistry with you know guys like C.O.C. Mariner and Britton Covey and those guys. It just it just shows, like I was saying, we've been working every day on the offseason, and um and we just progressing as an offense, as a team, and it, it feels good. Your first chance to work with Britton Covey. I'm sure you heard about how good he was 2015. What's it like to see him on the field now? Ah, uh, he, he just electric. Uh, at any moment, he gonna get open. So. Uh, I feel like I keep that in the back of my hand, of mind while I'm going through my progressions. I know I got Britton Covey, and I know I got my other receivers. They're doing a great job of getting open, so it's great to have my receivers. You see the maturity in them? You know, obviously, they have the, the ability, but the maturity to grow on and off the field with that group? Yeah, they they definitely growing. And, um, and it's, just, it's just great to have a, a, a lot of great receivers on, um, at the throw to. You know what I'm saying? And um, it just feels good.